This is the Geologic BT100. Uh, I've had this pool table about a week now. Um, it comes with standard pool balls. So that's for playing eight ball. Let's see with a cue ball. Um, two pool sticks, which are 122 centimeters. So I don't believe they're um, full size ones. I think they're just slightly shorter. Um, get a brush as well, which is actually really handy. It works really, really well just to get some bits off. If you're like me, you like to eat whilst you're playing. Um, I don't recommend it, but yeah, that brush is, is really useful. Comes with, don't even know what that's called. Thing to put your balls in so you can break. Um, but yeah, this table is 118 centimeters in length and 64 centimeters in uh, width. I would say this is probably the smallest table really on the market that's going to give you that authentic feel when you're playing. Um, I live in a one bed flat, so it's pretty tricky for space. Um, even over there, I can't really play. So what I'm going to do eventually is get a turntable underneath and then I can just turn it. But um, yeah, really, really impressed with it. It's um, the felt's actually really nice. It's a really nice gray color, um, really nice feel to it. Um, I actually saw a review recently from um, one of the guys you paid, I think it was in the States, he paid thousands for a six, seven foot table and all the felt was just coming off in his hands. But this felt feels feels really good. It's not slate, obviously. It's, um, I think it's MDMF. Uh, I think, I've, yeah, I think it's MDMF, um, which is underneath. So there is a slight corner of the table where the balls do sort of shift a little bit to the left, which is a bit annoying. But, you know, if you just put a piece of paper, just fold it a couple of times and put it under underneath, it should work. Now, the beauty of this table is just a tabletop. So it's literally just this. Um, I will just show you quickly. I don't know why I'm just zoomed in so much. So it just sits on top of the table um, really nicely. These legs here, you don't need these on. That just gives you a bit of extra, bit of extra height. Um, so you can actually have it without the legs. The only uh, problem is you just need to make sure that the pockets are overhanging. Otherwise, they're just going to fall. And obviously, that's how much space you've got, which is about enough for one ball, maybe two if you're lucky. So you're going to have to keep taking the balls out. Um, yeah, so that's what the legs are for. It's just to give you a bit of extra height. Um, there's two different models of this. There's one in Europe. Um, I'm in the UK, obviously. Um, but the rest of Europe, I believe, is a blue one, which is what I've seen in the other decathlons. Um, which has got like a, a blue felt and the pockets are actually plastic rather than netting. Um, I much prefer the nets. Um, it just gives you a more authentic feel when you're playing. Um, I'm not a huge pool player, so if I'm saying anything slightly silly, do let me know. Uh, but it's, it's great. It's just great to, to bash about with your mates. Um, like I said, it's probably the smallest you're going to want to go. I think, I think it's about three foot something i'm not entirely sure what 118 centimeters is i know it's three foot something um only sort of complaints i would say is it gets a little bit overcrowded sometimes with the balls so these are 4.4 centimeters um so it gets a little bit overcrowded when you're playing eight ball i have played nine ball on this Just let that focus a bit played nine ball on it and it works really really well um so yeah, yeah, I do recommend it. It uh, cost me about £120 plus shipping. It was about £15, so £135 altogether. Um, so if you've got a small space, you live in an apartment like myself, I just live in a one-bed flat, um, and you want to play pool, this is probably the smallest table, like I said, um, to give you that, that proper game. I think anything smaller than that is going to be like a kid's novelty um, type thing but also another feature which is really really which I really like is there is a handle here um, I believe the table is about I think it's about 10 kilograms so it's not it's not heavy um, and the beauty of it is you can just store it under your sofa excuse all the mess um, so when I want to use the dining table which is just obviously underneath then I can just take this off 
whack it straight under the sofa and um, yeah you're good to go then if you've got your mates around just pop this up it takes two minutes to set up uh, less than that actually because what I do is I do take these legs off so I just screw them on um, very loosely um, and then I just screw them out again take the legs off whack it under my sofa but if you do if your sofa is um, high enough to actually store it with the legs on, then I see them better. But, you know, like I said, it takes me two seconds to do, so it's not, not a big issue. Um, only other little downside, I'd say, to it is some of the pockets aren't as deep as others. Um, it's clearly done by hand. Um, they, they put these on manually. So um, I think the shortest one, it still, it still catches three balls, which I think is really good. Um, the deepest one's about five balls. Uh, which are usually the ones at the end for some reason. These ones, I think this one's quite short. Um, but yeah, what I'll do is I'll just have a quick break. I'm going to try and do this with one hand just because I don't have anything to put this on. So take that off. Like I said, the felt is really nice, it's got such a nice feel to it. Uh, take this cue off. Also, another thing with these cues, they are um, plastic ends. I'll see if I can focus not focusing let's try that out nope it's not going to happen is it you can probably sort of see it but yeah it's just a plastic tip um so that obviously there's no chalk provided so you never need chalk for it whether that's a disadvantage or not i'm not entirely sure like i said i'm not um a connoisseur <laughs> so to speak when it comes to pool but it you know it works really well and um for this table you can always buy fully sized, you know, full size cues if needed. Um, but yeah, let me just give it a quick break. Also, another thing I really love, it does give you that lovely sound when you're breaking like on a proper table. Uh, the pools, the pool balls have got a really nice weight to them as well. Um, but yeah, hopefully this doesn't go wrong. There we go. Let's see if I can hit that one in that pocket. There we go. Also, it doesn't make any noise when they go into the into the pockets, which is really nice, unless you're obviously hitting it really hard. You see what I mean by it's, it's slightly crowded. Um, like I said, nine ball works really, really well. This still works great. Um, but yeah, hopefully this review helps. Um, definitely worth the price. If you really, really want to play pool, you haven't got any space, this is probably the best one on the market in the UK. Um, I suspect it's probably similar throughout Europe as well. Don't know about the States. I'm not entirely sure. I don't even know if you guys have decathlon over there. Possibly not, but um, I'm sure you could get it shipped out if you want to pay a bit extra. But um, they might have similar models. But, um, yeah, Any uh, if you've got any questions, leave any comments. And um, just in the process of building my bar, absolute mess at the moment. So uh, and that's the box that came in over there. And uh, yeah.